Horses on the track now for today's 11th and featured race. Quinella and Trifecta wagering field of six at one mile. And here Vicky Smallwood now the jockey on number one, Rich Dessert. Also in here, ladies and gentlemen, number four, Resistible Impulse has been scratched. Scratch number four, Resistible Impulse. Here's the field. Number one, Rich Dessert, written by Vicki Smallwood. Two, Cajun Lass and Carlos Rivas. Number three, Trace Yabes, written by Enrique Ariola. Number four, Resistible Impulse has been scratched. Number five, Romping Ruby with Eric Perner. And the six, Appreciate Me with Steve Schmidt aboard. That's the field post time coming up in eight minutes at 5.02, eight minutes to post. Next up, Trace Yaves. And the even money favorite, Romping Ruby going in. There's one back. Heading for Appreciate Me. Appreciate me going in. And they're all in line, ready for the start. They're off and running. Trace Yaves pops the gate first. Appreciate me now spearing out on the outside. Cajun last moving quickly into second. Rich Dessert now third. Trace Yaves settling back in fourth and Romping Ruby as they bend around the first turn. And appreciate me determined to set the pace here. Sprints clear by four lengths early. Rich Dessert second, Cajun Lass is third, then the gray Romping Ruby. And Trace Yaves content to trail with six furlongs to go. They wheel to the back stretch the first quarter, a quick one here for Appreciate Me, 23 and two. She's out there by four lengths. Rich Dessert second, Cajun Lass is third, Romping Ruby on the outside, fourth by three. And Trace Yaves with four and a half furlongs to go. Appreciate Me and Steve Schmidt leading the way and Steve's trying to nurse the speed now of Appreciate Me and she leads it by four lengths. Romping Ruby the favorite now into second. Cajun Lass is third. Rich Dessert racing fourth and Trace Yaves trails. Now they're starting to close in 46 and for the halftime and going right on by Appreciate Me now is Romping Ruby. Cajun Lass third. Here comes Trace Yaves closing strong from fourth and Rich Dessert at the top of the lane now a quarter of a mile to go. Romping Ruby takes over by one. Trace Yaves the danger on the outside. Appreciate Appreciate me dropping back to Cajun Lass and Rich Dessert at the top of the lane. Romping Ruby set down for the drive by Perner. Here comes Trace Yaves. The only question here is which of Bob Arnett's mares will get home first. Romping Ruby and Trace Yaves pass the 16th pole together. Romping Ruby battling back on Trace Yaves. Romping Ruby a neck in front of Trace Yaves. Rich Dessert was third. Man out of Raging Ruby. Trained by Bob Arnett, ridden to victory by Eric Perner, running time 140 and 2 for the mile. Romping Ruby bred in Texas by Jerry Gleason. She's got good, and she's uh, tougher than a boot. I tell you, I've been trying to outrun her Trash Levis. So I'm about ready to give up. Mr. Gleason, tell me about the uh, stud fee, Mr. Gleason. I bred, I uh, called one man and he wanted 3500 on his stud, and I called another man and he said he'd take $100, and that's the way I went. <laughs> that's it, it's, it's more than we get, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, talk about the ride. Boy, what a battle down the stretch, though, huh? Yeah, it's, she gave me a little tougher race than I thought she would, but uh, there wasn't as much speed in this race today, and I was able to keep her a little closer. You guys did an outstanding job. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, sir. 
Dave Odom, uh, and only these close break, a string of good efforts in a row will follow by last time out in against the boys, didn't really fire a good shot, ran 10th, but is back in against now winners of two fillies, and uh, it's taken her quite a long time to uh, win her second race, she's one for 34 lifetime. She's Our Bid is number seven by Sharif. Charlie Rowling's riding for veteran trainer Jack King. This one a nice win two races back, getting up at 34 to one. Came back, ran ninth, but was just beaten four and a quarter by She's Got a Shot and Love You T. And so does take a drop in conditions today into non-winners of two lifetime. Gold Island is number eight on the outside. Oscar Ceballos riding for Ted Levy. Nice win, finally broke her maiden after 29 starts, two races back. Her last was sixth behind Olympic cause in April's noble one. We like in this way, the four on top, that's Kentucky Token of the three, Sharp Quillow, the five, Miss Abigail, third, so four, three, five, our choices here. is on the track now for the 12th race. Quinella and Trifecta wagering field of nine at six and a half furlongs. Here's the field. Number one, Metal Glow with Celestio Burgos. One, a high on Cerros and Danny Sabaro. Number two, Amphanetta, written by Carlos Rivas. The three, Sharp Quillo and Enrique Ariola. Number four, Kentucky Token, Eric Pernerza. The five, Miss Abigail and Jorge Soto. Six ladies close break with Nikki Madrid. Number seven, she's our bid with Charlie Rawlings. And the eight, Gold Island, Oscar Ceballos up. That's the field, post time five. Lining up sharp quillows in. And the one A high on Saros in the gate. Running for she's our bid and Gold Island. Abigail and Sharp Quillo are out there to contest that early lead. Gold Island comes away third. Ladies close break racing fourth. Kentucky token away early in fifth, about three off the pace. Metal Glow racing sixth on the inside. Amphanet is seventh by ahead. Then she's our bid. And high on Saros is the trailer. A run down the back stretch. Sharp Quillo now a half a length in front. Miss Abigail second. Gold Island racing third. Kentucky token moving between Phillies and fourth. Metal Glow trapped down on the inside side in fifth by two then Amphanetta gap of three to ladies close break followed by she's our bid and high on Saros 23 and three for the corner sharp Quillow's got the lead Kentucky token pouncing on her second Miss Abigail racing third then Amphanetta on the outside Gold Island at the top of the lane it's still sharp Quillow Kentucky tokens right there they're tackled now by Amphanetta they turn for home and Kentucky token forging her way to a short lead Amphanetta coming on her in near side past the eighth pole. It's Kentucky Token. Affinetta can't get by her on the inside. Kentucky Token. Affinetta one final surge on the outside. Late charge from ladies. Close break. Affinetta Kentucky Token hit the wire right together. Those two in a photo. Ladies close break was third. gentlemen the judges have called for a photo photo fee in three for the six and a half for long